Okay, I'm just gonna check that this looks good. Does this look good? Yes. Alright, so we get to pick a nation to play as. Um, so we got UK, France, Germany, US, Canada, Australia. I guess these are our scenarios to choose from. Let's pick USA. USA is a federal republic consisting of 50 states, the third the largest country by land area and population, and is also the world's largest national economy. Uh, country accounts for 39% of global military spending, despite only containing 4% of the global population. Alright. Um, player's party name? Opposition party name. Ooh, this is multi-select. Alright, guys, help me pick one. Which party do I want to play? Anybody have a bias toward a particular party for me to give it a shot? I could play as the Republicans. I could play as the Socialist Party. Um, there's all kinds of parties I could play as. Should I play as the Republicans? And just see, like, where I could take this? If I don't hear anything in a few minutes, that's what I'm going to do. So, um, so I'd recommend voting. Huh. Oh, I hear no objection. We're gonna go with Republicans. And I guess we're gonna go against the Democrats. Alright, um... Sure. Um... Let's give this a try and see where we end up. Alright, so here's our assistant who's going to help explain um, just everything in the game. Press the button in the window marked below, begin term of office to begin. Yay, I've won an election. The lives of all the citizens are now in my capable hands. Um, I do face re-election in four years. Um, so there's all these various... Um, uh, these... what do they call these? I mean, these aren't voters. These are, like, values voters, or values that... Wait, no, I guess these are voters. These are segments of the population. I'll never get everybody to approve of me, but maybe some will. Uh, white icons are policies, and I can adjust policies to adjust various outcomes. Uh, blue icons are statistical data um, about scientific things and other statistics. Red or green items are situations that can't directly be affected by government, but you can enact policies which in turn affect these situations. Um, so, yeah, hover over any of these icons um, to see how they're related. Let's pick military. Or, okay, let's see. Crime. Crime is affected by police, by narcotics, by 
behavior, by education, and all these factors. This really does affect everyone. Um, let's pick a specific block of voters. Um, you can see their various influences, or how uh, if you increase taxes, um, they are progressively unhappier. Um, generally, it seems like they don't like any of these taxes, and they do not like homelessness. So yeah, I can click on an individual um, effect to see policies which change that effect. Like here we're looking at income tax. Um, so slider affects the amount of income tax. So I could max it out. I could say we're not going to have any income tax, or I could keep it balanced where it is. Or wherever it used to be. Yeah, yeah, and maxing it out, obviously middle income people do not like that very much. Uh, let's just leave things where they were, revert changes, leave the tax screen, uh, take a look at some of these situations. So this situation, I can't see this, but uh, I think this has to do with uh, housing or homelessness. And yeah, government can't affect situations, it can only affect policies. And situations either start or stop. So once you start them, they're hard to stop, and when you stop them, they're uh, hard to start back up. Okay, let's take a look at this icon. Um, yeah. Statistics. Statistics have causes, statistics have effects. Uh, some statistics are measuring good things and some are measuring bad things. So like health is a good thing, crime is a bad thing. You can't change the statistics, you can only change um, policies which affect situations. Uh, statistics are gathered based on situations. Okay, you get so much political capital. Uh, it's used when you adjust policies or change them. Alright, we're going to create a new policy. And only because everybody's been so quiet for just a little bit, I'm going to just make sure that everything's up and running. Uh, everything looks fine on my computer, but let me just quickly verify. Okay, yeah, all does look well. People are just abnormally quiet about this game as compared to other games that I could be playing. Um, so, these are policies that are put forth by my ministers. So I can... Um, those in red uh, are too politically capitally expensive for me to implement. This requires 50 capital to have compulsory military service. Um, it's basically to make everybody operate in the army. So let's pick, I don't know, what would be a good policy? Here's one that takes 13 political capital to affect. It's estimated to be very popular. Um, it has no costs and does not change income. Select a policy, hit implement. And then I can decide how do I want to implement the policy. Um, some will take time, so it's important to start them before you want them to be operational. Uh, for now, let's just go back to the main screen uh, by clicking this. There's much more we could do, but we can get to that later. Um, and then when you're done, you hit next turn. 
This is a quarterly report. Tells you what the status quo is, um, the issues of the day, and so forth. And now it's my turn. So, uh, education is doing well. Everything else is not doing quite as well. The economy is doing well. The polls don't look good, despite the fact that I just won an election uh, a couple months ago and now I'm in office. Uh, polls do not look good. Um, our credit rating is just B, B, B. We either need to grow our GDP, lower our expenses, or increase taxes uh, to make our budget better. Uh, security briefing. Uh, the Human Rights Society has been criticizing our policies. Um, and the Cabinet Report. So... Yes, they, they're my cabinet's generally perceived to be trustworthy, and they're they're generally perceived to be passably effective. Meaning, nobody really knows much about my cabinet. They believe I'll do well, but they don't know. All right, let's take a look. The debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they use to extract payments. Um, a law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. So I have a choice. Um, do I enforce a law which t adds costs and um, or do um, yeah nobody forces people to borrow money they can't repay and to restrict the rights of debt agencies to recover debts would actually hurt the economy in some ways um, so this is the choice um, I am playing as the Republican Party, so it's pretty obvious what I'm going to choose. Okay. Economic forecast is good. Global economy is somewhat down. Our relative GDP relative to the global economy is not down quite as much as the entire economy was down. Um, my debt level should always be a concern. So our debt's increasing, our GDP's decreasing. Um, uh, bond market gets nervous as debts increase and the economy does not correspondingly increase. Uh, government income comes mainly from income tax and sales tax and to some extent from corporate tax. Um, and there's government expenses. Uh, what happened to our issues of the day? So that's our economic forecast. Budget report says our budget is just BBB in terms of our credit rating. Um, by Growing our GDP, lowering expenses, or hiring, increasing taxes, um, we could improve our credit rating, which improves our ability to borrow money. Obviously, building out our GDP is good for many reasons. Um, polls. Oh yeah, this shows like people. Uh, they claim would vote for me if there were an election this instant. Um, it's below the half line. So somehow I got elected, despite most people not wanting to vote for me, I guess. Um, uh, 
Yeah, we could break down the polls and look at who likes me, who hates me, whatever. Um, okay, you can check out focus groups. Look at individual people and see do they like me, do they hate me. Yeah, it shows their particular association between um, uh, what I'm doing, or how it's influencing them, and what their opinion is of how I'm influencing them. Look at policies and see which ones are popular, which ones are unpopular. So if I'm just trying to win an election, I just spend all day looking at these policies and see, like, what people think about it. Um, take a look at changes since I was first elected. Productivity is down. GDP is down. <laughs> Tobacco and alcohol are also down. And showing... Yeah, I'm setting a goal. I want to end up over here in the upper right quadrant. All the way up here uber conservative, uber capitalist, just to see what happens in the game if I do go that way. Obviously I think an effective ruler would be placed right in the center, but I don't know. Maybe one policy is the best. So, I could ask my cabinet what's going on look at achievements, of which I've achieved nothing. Uh, here's some policy ideas to implement. There's financial data, opinion polls, and a security briefing. Ah, so these gauge the level of various threats. Uh, some of them are harmless, some of them can be gateways to more extreme threats. Okay. It's good to know. <laughs> Security effectiveness. Look at all the things I could add in place. Intelligence services, in my opinion, should be um, some things that curtail threats. Uh, what does this mean? The Human Rights Society is a threat. I don't understand. Armed police aren't a very... I don't know. It's a very complex picture. Each turn takes three months. Uh, every 15 turns, there's a new election. Um, Alright, so I've got 40 political capital. Depending how loyal my cabinet members are, um, I can increase or decrease that amount of political capital. Asthma epidemic, antisocial behavior, um, pollution. Uh, I don't think the gov that GOP is going to do very much in that regard. Skill shortage. So, how I read this is that immigration and education and technology all contribute, well, yeah, all those contribute to skills, and a skills shortage affects our GDP. So if we're really looking to expand GDP, uh, we either want to improve our education or improve our immigration system. I think we're going to focus on education. What is it that makes um, education effective? State schools, they contribute. Um, technology colleges contribute. Private schools, in a large way, contribute toward education. Um, So private schools have in effect, um, are in effect, rather. Uh, uh, 
Let's see. Yeah, and they increase this cost of school vouchers. So there's all kinds of things I can make decisions upon. Um, let's start by implementing new policies. So we do want to improve our education. Uh, what else are we interested in? Public services. Stem cell research. Estimated to be wildly unpopular. Um, takes an entire year to implement. And has no guarantee of being popular at all. There's an education thing. Let's see, what... Are there any estimated to be popular policies? <laughs> Ban Sunday shopping. Wow. That takes a lot of political capital to enforce. Um... Nobody... well, import tariffs are popular. It'd take 13 uh, political capital to start that up, and would generate income. This does go against real free market economics, though. It can be seen as being unfair to foreign countries. Could spark retaliation from foreign countries. Um, so, yeah. What would a Republican do? Organic farming subsidy. Recycling. Something they might do. Oil drilling subsidies. Potentially costs a lot. So we'll reduce fuel prices and stimulate the economy, um, but environmentalists will hate it. Um, well, this is interesting. Not all citizens will pursue a university education, but government can provide subsidies to encourage a more educated workforce. Yeah, I do like this idea. Uh, is there anything else? Libraries. Yeah, it's estimated to be a drop in the pocket, and takes like no political capital to implement. Uh, estimated to take a year to go into place. So what would be a good policy that would get take effect very quickly that would also be popular and not go too far away from um, the GOP values that I'm trying to embrace as I do this? I could tax the internet. Yeah, because there's nothing better to do than to tax the internet. Um, church groups see it as essential that the state encourages traditional family values. Yeah, know this? Uh, okay, it's a complicated issue. Church groups believe that families are the core of society, and they might be right. It takes a lot of political capital to put in place, but and has a lot of costs, but it would be popular, um, and it would keep families together and such.
school tax credits. Oh yeah. Let's see, what else? Enterprise investment scheme. Encourage people to invest in business. This does have potential costs. Um, indirectly, this is being subsidized by those without savings to invest. Right, because if you're giving a break to people who invest in businesses, it means that, in a way, they're getting a break and people who don't get money aren't. But, it's estimated to be very popular because people don't recognize that. So, yeah, we're going to implement this. Estimated to be very popular. Um, with anybody except socialists, and you can't make them happy here. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does it say 33 political capital? Oh, it shows current political capital. That's the amount I have remaining. To raise the policy level. Um, uh, oh, it's free to move this about, so I could implement this at whatever level I desire. And it's going to make everybody happy except for socialists. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's maximize um, enterprise investment. Because uh, that's what a GOP would do. Grand old party. It's all about that investment. Um, let's see, where was that policy? Where'd it go? It's one of the things that... I mean, everything affects the GDP, but... That new policy, I just... If, uh, took effect. Um, I don't see it here anymore, obviously, but where'd it go? Uh, so we're finding that socialists didn't like the new law. Uh, which is where? Where'd it go? Let's take a look at this labor laws. They affect a worker's right to strike and so forth. Capitalists argue that such... Okay, well, I didn't have any other controls on the other screen. I'm going to assume... Yeah, this is pro-employer. I could move it to the right to move it pro-employee. Um... Let's see, what new policies can I um, put in place right now? So I spent seven political capital putting... In fact, I should choose the big things first. Oh yeah, that looks like something. Um, <laughs> whatever. Okay, that would cost 27. Uh, where's the thing about education? University grants. This would take 13 political capital to put in place. I think we want it. Um, welfare fraud. Yeah, it's going to take in very little money. Uh, it costs a lot of money. What else? What might be a good thing to put in place? Community policing. Work with the community then, rather than attempting to control. Uh, 
Critics see it as a waste of money, which can be spent on other things to combat crime. Um, Race Discrimination Act. I feel like that's something that's already on the books. Um, inevitably, that will improve the economy one way or another. It's just not my top item. I will get it in place. Um, police drones seem to be <laughs> detention without trial. Now look at all these things that would be wildly unpopular. Bus lanes, car emission limits, clean fuel subsidy. It's been said that this would, um, yeah. Well, let's deal with one thing at a time, right? I mean, okay, well, this goes into place immediately. This is soon to be wildly popular. And only cost six billion to put in place. It does cost 14 political capital to get done. Here we go. Telecommuting. That actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, let me first decide on the big things, though, and then I'll come back to that. I'd like to put in place as many, as many policies as I can before... Um... <laughs> yeah, that doesn't gather any money, but it's assumed to be popular. Um... I, I, eventually, I do have to just pick something and go with it. Oh yeah, public libraries. That take a year to implement, but um, this helps generate a more educated society. So that's eight billion. This is twenty billion. This is even more expensive. Yeah, let's put public libraries in place. This is one of the things that was done much earlier in our... Um, much, much earlier in our nation's history. So yeah, let's implement public libraries. It's free to institute at whatever level I choose to institute it. Wow, that's remarkably ineffective at changing anything. So yeah, if we're going to implement it, we might as well... I don't know. I mean, I could implement it at any level. Ah, I just can't decide. I guess I'll just go with the medium investment. Now, well, let's go all out with this. Um, let's see, how much... Yeah, I've got clean energy subsidies. Which is going to cost a lot. Um, it's anti-capitalist in a sense. Organic farming. Recycling. Recycling's a pretty obvious thing. Um, 
network safety laws. It costs only a billion to put into place. It's not estimated to be popular, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Investor tax breaks. Robotics research breaks. Micro generation grants. Let's see, what else could I choose to add in? Adult education and university grants are both good things. Um, so this may be very popular. Yeah, let's put this in place. Effectiveness, 23... What does this all mean? 23% costs 7%. Effects, 19%. I'm not sure what these numbers mean. But adult education is a good thing for a well-informed, empowered society. Um, See, so yeah, now I've got 11 political capital remaining. So I can pick uh, minor issues that I want to implement. It's like telecommuting. Um, costs two political capital. Again, I have just 11 remaining. Car usage and commuter membership. Oh, so people... I don't understand what commuter membership is versus commuter. But I can implement this at any level I want. Oh, I see. This decreases. This is popular with commuters. However, the number of commuters is going to decrease um, as a result of the policy, which makes sense. That, um, whatever. Alright. Um, my income does not match my expenditures, but that's never going to match up anyway. Um, critics see this as a policy that is being expensive and there are more effective ways to deal with crime than community policing. And I guess I might agree. Uh, racial profiling. Oh, all these things are too expensive for me to implement. Um, youth clubs uh, reduces the incidence of street crime. Yeah, I guess reducing street crime is probably a good thing. Let's do that. Okay, so I spent all my political capital. Um, so yeah, changing taxes and such has expenses. Um, 
and will be necessary to get the books to balance unless I can find a way to increase GDP. Um, I can cancel income taxes. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay. So I'm trying to max out some of these things up here. Obviously I'm never going to fully satisfy everybody. Um, fracking. Do I want to allow fracking? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to say, go ahead. What's wrong with fracking? The global economy is doing well, and that, in turn, is having a positive effect on our GDP. Um, our credit rating is BBB. We want to improve our economy to pay off some of the debt, or um, be in a better position to pay debt. Um, okay. A human rights society says it actively encourages its members to oppose the current government. I'm not surprised. Um, politics is doing what you say what you're going to do while intending to do another. But politics is when you say you're going to do one thing while you intend to do another. Then you can do neither what you said nor what you intended. How about that? economic forecast. So our relative GDP um, is increasing. Our debt is obviously increasing because I just instituted some new policies. Um, global economy is also increasing, which is improving our GDP. Um, So all these things affect our expenses, I suppose. Okay, so our income is far lower than that. Um, I'm just going to keep instituting policies that are of my choosing. Let's see. Here's my cabinet. Disloyal members will provide less political capital. So you either need to get rid of them, or whatever. Each minister is popular with different voter groups. So, okay. Pretty much everybody is happy with... Um, wow, I could reshuffle my cabinet. If I wanted to keep the people, or change them, or whatever. Um, but yeah, everybody seems pretty happy. I gained three and a half political capital here, four point eight there, three point eight, four point three, and so forth. Um, so I gained enough political capital I could fire one of these people. No, I don't need to do that. Um, so yeah, twenty five per turn, twenty five. Uh, oh, do these all add up to 25, right? So, I'm not seeing a delta versus last turn. I'm seeing um, my total capital. Between these two, it's 5. Between these two, it's about 8.5. So, it's 13.5. Um, 13.5, about 17, about... Yeah, okay, this all adds up to 25. So as my um, team get better at what they do, and more popular perhaps, um, they get more capital. I see. So desired jobs, welfare, foreign policy, law and order. Um, welfare, public taxes, public services, tax. So, 
<laughs> Trade unionists and farmers are this person's thing. Patriots and capitalists. So I basically don't want to piss off any one group. Or I might get less capital through my cabinet. Interesting. This is a popular person, but they don't appear... I mean, they're very loyal. Meaning that I could, to a great deal, piss this person off. And they'd still be loyal to me. Whereas, who else? I mean, okay, everybody in my cabinet's pretty loyal. Um, I guess having all three bars as far to the right as possible helps. Yeah, I can't anticipate. I don't know what that's, what any of my decisions are going to do um, to my political capital. So... Oh yeah, I should see. What are issues of the day? Yeah, we're not doing so hot on our budget. Economic forecast has temporarily boosted us. Okay, we're we've gotten very popular overnight. Um, yeah, so the membership of many of these has um, decreased severely as I've become more popular. Um, Friends of the Planet has increased, because I just said fracking is A-OK. -okay. And the Human Rights Society. So it looks like I'm going to have to do something about human rights. Um, what would be something related to human rights that I could do? guaranteed to be expensive. Rent controls. Oh, hang on. Yeah, if I'm interested in looking at human rights, um, where would I go to find that out? Private pensions are very popular with these um, retired people, but I have a feeling that human rights isn't directly linked to anything. It's more about just rights in general. So what could I do that would maybe appease people who are who would otherwise join this human rights thing? Oh, there's an interesting policy. Free bus passes. It's really freaking expensive. Um National Monorail. Again, popular. Um, oh, and that takes an entire four years to put into place. Toll roads. Um, oh yeah, here's here's where we're talking. Law and order. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, police drones and tasers? Probably not. Not that's such a good idea. All right. Well, this this would be a thing that's doable, for sure. Um.
This is quite the liberal policy. That's not something that... In fact, yeah. I think this would help our society as a whole. So, as committed as I am to trying to portray a Republican, uh, it's not going to happen. Um, we still need to do something to... Um... Okay, well, where's the economy? Here's our economy. Everything contributes to this. Um, I think most notably... Um... <laughs> Capital gains tax contributes to the economy. Uh, but it's a negative contribution. Why does that a negative contribution to GDP? Also, skill shortage obviously contributes to GDP, but why is, why is a capital gains tax... Um, uh, it brings in a lot of money. But how does that hurt GDP? Oh. Okay, it taxes local GDP stuff. <gasps> um, so if I were dead set on improving the economy at all costs, I would scrap the policy. Um... But, yeah, I think it's okay to leave that in place. How else do these things relate? Oh, these are all public service. These are all law and order. So we got antisocial behavior. But more importantly, and more easily addressed, uh, alcohol abuse. Alcohol consumption definitely affects alcohol abuse, um, as does unemployment. How do we address unemployment? All these various ways. Um, I guess we put into place a space program. Um, no, but seriously, there's all kinds of things we could do to um, improve unemployment. Immigration is factoring into unemployment, and at the same time, unemployment's affecting immigration. It's an interesting dynamic. The lack of a space program is contributing to unemployment. Let's see. The lack of all these things contributes. Um, so I need to pick white circles and make decisions on what we're going to do with them. Well, let me click unemployment. So these are things that cause it. Let us take a look at situations. So we got. Um, alcohol abuse is a situation. Addressing this is going to be hard. Um, one way to address it would be um, to temporarily suspend alcohol consumption. Um, yeah, this is Democracy 3. Hmm. Oh, I've seen this. Good tab. That's so ridiculous. It's so awesome. That's cool. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. So a lot of these situations are kind of hard to stop. Skill shortage. Oh, well, I've put quite a bit of effort in to try to address this. Um, obviously, my first quarter... 
Uh, we've made good progress toward addressing it. Um, education. Uh, wait, how does technology increase skill shortage? I'm confused. Yeah, we want to increase our skills. If I moved, yeah, let's see, where am I on this graph? Where did the graph go? Okay, this shows how popular I am to various parties. Um, so, Republicans, sure, we're up there. Uh, Democrats. Okay, there's not as many Democrat activists against me, nor are there are many Republicans activists in my favor. So this is just how popular I am, but where am I in the graph? Where did my graph go? It's an opinion poll. There's my compass. So I moved a little bit to the right. We're slowly moving toward the upper right corner. But trying to do so without tanking the whole world. Although, why not? Okay, pollution's a problem. Started to curtail it, but they have not really fixed it. Homelessness is a problem. Um, I'm not going to succeed in my objective there. Um, yeah, so I think the lack of adult education subsidies and lack of education um, are contributing to this. And this is feeding into our GDP problem. So, political ideology aside, this kind of has to happen. Um, in fact, I've already maxed this out. There's no maxing it out any further. Uh, so what's feeding into our skill shortage? Technology is somehow feeding into this. Oh, I get it. So the deal is that as technology increases over time, the skills necessary to keep up with technology have to keep pace. So, um, I could either commit to like completely shutting down um, technology, which is just not a good, a good idea, not going to work. Um, or just have faith that these programs I've instituted are actually going to help this. Um, let's see, what affects education? Private schools do. Technology and state schools do. Um, if I remember right, private schools are quite popular with... Um, with my party. Okay, so things are really intertwined here. I'm just going to keep instituting new policies, because new policies are cheaper to institute than it is to actually change existing policies. Uh, I've got 24 political capital. Yeah. So I'm taking the position that if I build out the economy, that this is going to help um, our GDP. Um, oh, well, yeah, I don't want to increase unemployment. I mean, I don't believe that research would do that, but there is the belief that that's how that works. 
Um, yeah, it's funny. This is a thought to be popular. And, uh, well, this actually has a cost. It's supposed to build out the economy. Whatever. Um, well, I should have instituted this earlier. Um, let's see, what else? How else can I um, continue to improve things while trying to remain as far up and right as possible? So, import tariffs. Um, it's very protectionist and not very pro-economy. Public services. School meals, university grants. I think this would help address our education issue. Um, generous grants. Yeah, and this will uh, help address our skill shortage and in turn build our economy. Uh, let's put that in place. And I have 11 political capital left. I could make bus lanes. You know, that's important to some people. Actually, I, I was kind of making fun of that, but it might not be a bad idea. Uh, bus subsidies. No, I don't like that, but bus lanes. It might not be popular, but some of these things would actually help our economy. Uh, yeah, and mandating new fuel efficiency standards will... Um, though it won't be popular, it will force... Um, oh, I know why it's unpopular. That doesn't merit saying here, but... Yeah, it will force innovation. It's going to legally obligate um, innovation to occur. So, yeah. I mean, sure, it's anti capitalist. How is this anti capitalist? I'm confused. Why would this be considered anti-capitalist to put in place? I do not get... or this is just not popular with capitalists, I guess. No, because the idea... well, I guess, yeah, government's expanding its scope. But, um, it's just legally forcing change to occur. Um, See, what else can I pick? I've got five... Yeah, okay. Let's put this in place. Um, admittedly, I am probably moving away from the upper right corner, but maybe that's not a bad thing. Uh, health food subsidies. What else? Clean energy subsidies. Yeah, I'm going to spend all my capital and put this in place.
So, yeah, my expenditures have far exceeded my income. I think that's okay long term. Yeah, our credit rating has been downgraded for obvious reasons. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So instead of BBB, now we're just BB. Um, we're going to want to increase our credit rating. There are calls for limits on the hours that people work, which are, yeah, I mean, okay, this is a problem the federal government can do something about. Um, this working problem is not so much. Notice that GDP is improving, and that's something I've been working on here, is that addressing all the causes which feed, and there's tons of causes which feed into GDP. The leading one being our skill shortage. Slave labor. Well, some would call that immigration. <laughs> um, I don't know if they can hear me. So, yeah, no, the skill shortage issue is addressed by educating our electorate and everybody. Um, so, I mean, yeah. We're doing pretty well threat vector wise or threat matrix wise. Um, Communist Party is seeing a renaissance here, but I think we're doing well. Um, what was this I was just looking at? <laughs> All right, so we gotta do something about um, our credit rating. It's not gonna be popular, whatever it is. Uh, let me check what our options are for our credit rating. Yeah, so we should take action to regain credibility with the ratings agencies by reducing the level of debt. Public service, taxes. I need to touch something in this quadrant. Well, oh no, I don't. I mean, I could increase income tax, um, sales tax. Wait, what's this? How would this. That's not a tax, it's an enterprise investment scheme. This is costing me 30 billion per quarter. Which is, compared to all of this, 30 billion is a drop in the bucket. Um, car taxes. Aren't going to change a thing. Hybrid cars. Tax initiative. Won't increase revenue. Tobacco tax. Um, how much money would that actually raise? Oh, it's in place. Um, so I could just completely max this all the way out. It cost me 27 political capital to raise it. Which is more than I have, so I can't raise it. Raising tobacco tax is not an option. There's the petroleum or fuel tax. Um, yeah, but seriously, I think our main options are all going to be unpopular here. Um, corporation tax. That might be popular. Still takes a lot of political capital to do. Um, and it's rather anti-capitalist for me to put it in place. Uh, some argue that corporations should be the only entities taxed. Um, others argue that such taxes stifle entrepreneurship. Um, it's definitely an option. Oh, what is, yeah, I have a cabinet. Why don't I pull this dude... Where's my cabinet? 
who's my you're my tax dude. What is your sympathy? <laughs> so he's incredibly loyal. Um, he doesn't have much experience. And he's not especially effective. So I've lost a political capital per turn. Um, he's awfully loyal, but that's his main advantage. He's not contributing much, but I don't think that I would have anybody to replace him with. So I have to choose. Um, yeah, capital gains tax isn't going to boost the economy at all. So that's 50... 52 billion a quarter. This is a lot more per quarter for income tax and sales tax. Not quite as much. Uh, sales tax is anti capitalist. Oh, I don't have the capital to raise it. That's unfortunate. Um, that really takes one of the cards off the table there. Um, so basically, using this guy as my minister, everything costs a lot of political capital to get done. He's loyal, but he sucks at what he does. Um, I hate to scapegoat somebody already, but if he's not an effective leader and it takes a lot of capital to get anything moving, I really can't keep him around. Um, so I think that I have to take a look at um, who could I pick in place of this dude. Is there anybody who would be loyal and experienced? So I could pick somebody relatively experienced who's able to get stuff done. That doesn't take all my political capital to get things done. I think that's what I'm going to need to do. Let's pick Alan Brown there, assuming that uh, I can appoint him. Assuming there's nothing that says that, uh, well, Congress does have to review certain appointments, but I'm not sure if that's one of them. I think the cabinet's entirely up to my own discretion. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to appoint Alan Brown in place of Howard Howard. It's quite the name. Yeah, because he just has no experience. Like, he's a nice guy, he's loyal, but he can't get anything done. Sorry about that. So yeah, now we got Alan Brown, um, our tax expert. And he can actually get things done. Okay, this costs 26. This costs 30. I thought this guy was effective. Okay. Capital gains tax. 
that doesn't really change much. Um. So. I have only 18 uh, political capital this turn, because I spent 6 already. Um. So that means I'm kind of in a difficult situation. Uh, I have to pick some policy to gain revenue. Um, so income tax is in place. Uh, sales tax is in place. I keep looking at taxes to try to get this moving. And, um, property taxes. <laughs> That's a way to tick everybody off. That's amazing. Um, hybrid cars costs a billion per quarter. It's a good symbolic move. I'm trying to find some way to raise revenue to help deal with our debt problem. And what the game's telling me is that that's just not an option. I need to cut something. Um, so, what do I cut? Do you cut budget? Need to cut something out of the budget. Um, what are your options? Everything. Literally everything. Yep. Should. Oh, I can see a graph of how much is spent on what. Um, that's not it. Expenditure. Okay. I want to cut this part. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Well, yeah. Oh, wow. Um... Uh, well, this would have fixed my problem. What? I should have just started my turn by just doing this. Ceremonial only. Yeah. What country are you? I'm in the U.S. Okay, good luck. Yeah, we're kind of screwed in that regard. Um... Let's see, what other expenditures are on the table? State pensions, state schools... I'll just cut the pension fund, you know? Why are you funding alcohol abuse? Dude, why would you not fund alcohol abuse? Okay, fair enough. Um, so... Other. Yeah, let's cut other. Um, income. I guess I have... Ooh, that's gonna suck, but I have to raise taxes. But I can't do that, because I like the political capital to do it. I... There's nothing I can do this turn. That's fantastic. There's gotta be something. I mean, there's all kinds of things I could do. I could... I already put this in place. Uh, what are our critical situations? I'm not gonna worry about the debt issue this turn. We will have to get to it, but... Uh, I can't do anything this turn. Oh, we've almost addressed this. So we're making really good progress on that. Um, I'm guessing next turn that'll be fixed. How about pollution? Eh, pollution will take forever to get fixed. We'll get around to it. Homelessness. Um, doing okay, I guess. I'm trying to figure out what what's most easily fixable. <laughs> Alcohol abuse has increased since um, the start of the year, but it can't increase any further. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, 
an awfully optimistic way of phrasing that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just need to go, like, full prohibition. We need to go full Donald Trump on this country. That'd be awesome. Or maybe Sanders, I don't know. No, you need to go, like, go Trump. Okay. But th I don't think there is any Trump party. Um, like, Trump is his own thing. He's... Um, so asthma is affected by all this. Okay, well what, what affects GDP? Some of these situations do. Like skill shortage affects GDP. Mm -hmm. Pollution controls affects GDP. Um, oh, right, because regulating businesses will have a negative effect on GDP. Huh. So if I'm looking to move up into the right on the graph, okay, well, okay. I'm curious what this person thinks, what their sympathies are. Julie Washington. What is this Julie Washington's preference? Um, sympathies. Environmentalist. State employees. So... On this issue, she's pro-environment. Um, where do I stand with her? Um, yeah, if I want to gain some loyalty from her. Interesting. Uh, she's actually pretty... Well, well, she's not very experienced. She's moderately effective. Um, all these people claim that they'd be very loyal to me if they were. Well, this one doesn't, but um, many of them do. But none of them have any experience. And I mean, how do you become an expert? I don't know. It's just one of those things they learn over time, I suppose. Um, but if I want to gain some more loyalty from this person, I will take a pro-environment stance on this. And so, to take a pro-environmental stance, let's max this out. Let's really lock down on pollution. Um, it's good for the Earth, too. Yeah. And it might, in some ways, improve health and the economy, so... Not with the amount that China's polluting. Okay. Now, we still have 15 political capital. Uh, what else affects GDP? Crime affects GDP. Um, so, the, yeah, it's saying the lack of a capital gains tax and the lack of a corporate tax have various impacts. Um, traffic congestion. Yeah. Immigration. Uh, where's traffic? Oh, that's way up here. Yeah, traffic congestion. Which, in a turn, affected by like road building decisions um, oh well that costs a lot to get moving doesn't it it's because the unions you gotta bust them up that's one opinion um, <laughs> so is anybody pro traffic congestion you just need to know presumably the tollway workers so let's see what what new policies oh, can I put in place? <laughs> um, I could add in bus lines. Yeah, that's estimated to be quite popular. Um, clean fuel subsidy. Spend all my political capital. Well, I should be saving. Should be. Um, doing things to improve our GDP and not, like, screw over the economy. But I could spend all my political capital doing things that don't matter. Um, import tariffs. Yeah, I don't... That generates only, like, four billion. Um, and that will, long-term, 
hurt internationally. Um, so I could build bus lanes. I think it, that would leave me with enough political capital left over for next turn to go put taxes in place and fix stuff. Um, bus lanes! Okay, got five capital left over, which I'm going to hold. Huh, this uh, global economy is helping our GDP. Torture deportation. Police officers have arrested a con man who's staying in our country illegally. Oh, well, under normal circumstances, he'd be eligible to de be deported to his country of origin. But he's claiming he'll be tortured by the government if he's done so. Uh, oh, well, that's interesting. So, yeah, so he is a con man. He's a criminal um, who claims that he would be tortured if he's sent back. <laughs> you see the quote at the bottom of the screen. Let me put it to you this way. I am not a revengeful person. It's a Bushism. Yeah. Ah, the bus lanes will indirectly increase the homeless due to the added shelters created by the bus stops. That makes there be more homeless people, or does that just give them places to aggregate? Good question. Does it, what causes what? <laughs> um... But no, there's a con man who's making claims of, oh, I'm going to be tortured if you send me back. I'm going to enforce the law. Then maybe you shouldn't have been a con man. I know, right? Um, so our treatment of crime is slightly not improved. Wait. Crime value over time. An indicator of the general level of nonviolent crime in your nation. So if that's going down, that's a good thing. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Because, yeah, crime causes prison costs to increase. <laughs> Unless you're in charge of one of the prisons. I know, right? In which case, crime is a very good thing. Yeah, it's a tricky question. This game asks a lot of interesting questions and makes you reconsider some things. Um, so this turn I have 24 political capital. Yes. Awesome. Um... And so, yeah, I'm thinking, I need, uh, wait, sales, uh, okay, sales taxes, oh, I get it, it's not popular with capitalists, and if I remember right, my board does have some capitalists on it, um, farmers, conservatives, socialist, liberal, liberal environment, capitalist, um, environmentalist, capitalist, so I got two capitalists on my cabinet. So if I put in a sales tax, capitalists are not going to be happy. But an income tax is um, it's pro quality, I guess. Golly. Um. So yeah, I guess I'm just not going to be successful at all at reaching the upper right corner. I guess my new goal is going to be to try to become a centrist. Um, so what do I do about our debt problem? Um, oh wait, we got our situations to worry about. Skill shortage. So our skill shortage has sharply declined. Um, and so, um, yeah, the lower as this goes, the better our GDP will be as a function of skill shortage. What other situations? Oh, we got this t technological advantage. Well, what improves us technology-wise? Science funding, space program, technology colleges, and tech grants. 
I just say, there's all kinds of boosts to the economy. Science funding. Oh wait, but... So we're saying that this, our technology, what was what this impact? GDP and productivity. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Yeah, that's a touchy subject, is it not? How is that a touchy subject? Uh, apparently it is. Yeah. Only in America. I know, right? <laughs> God. Uh, so, to increase our technological advantage, which improves uh, us... Um, I think America is the only country where creationism versus evolution is like an actual political thing that can affect other things. You haven't been to the Bible Belt. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm just saying. So... Space program. The more we increase this, the more unemployment goes down because we send everybody into space. Yeah, um. Yeah, no, this is actually a good thing to increase. It takes 18 political capital to raise our spending here. Space station. Now, yeah, I guess that's going to be my move for the, this quarter. Well, that doesn't change much, does it? So, yeah, that's just like a 10 billion increase. Really, I need to deal with this uh, deficit that we're running. Also, I need to pick something out here. And because I have advisors who are pro-capitalist, I can't pick sales tax. Um, nor can I pay a capital gains tax. All these things on the right really aren't going to change our economy. Like if I put in an inheritance tax, it's not going to do very much. Uh, like, that really doesn't do anything. So, yeah, I have to increase the income tax. This is going to be unpopular, no question, but um, I need to deal with this. Oh, I can't deal with it though, I only, I don't have 30 political capital. Ha! I mean, I could cancel income tax. That would get you a lot of political capital. <laughs> no, that would just make me popular. Oh, that's, that's the difference. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there sure is. Uh, so I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to put in a sales tax, even though my cabinet's gonna hate it. All right, let's see. How does time work in this game? Oh, so each turn here is three months. Um. So. Yeah, and apparently it's 15 um, turns between the turn one and the next election. Uh, surprised you to learn it was maybe China that had a percentage of population that were atheists. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I... Hmm. I lack the political capital to raise the sales tax, so my hands are completely tied with regard to taxes. I do get to carry over some political capital into the next turn, but uh, for now let me just focus on adding something. Um, oh, there's all these new taxes I could introduce. Microgeneration grants. These aren't taxes. These are expenses. Um, junk food tax. It's going to bring in two billion. 
It's gonna piss everybody off. <laughs> uh, health tax credits. Actually, yeah, this is a good thing for everybody. Um, it's gonna cost a lot to implement. Um, school tax credits. Recreational drugs tax. Potential income. None. Because they're not legal. No, it's because um, even if you put recreational drug taxes in place, it's not going to gain the government any money. Hmm. It's going to cost so much to put in place that it's not going to be profitable. Plastic bag tax. Oh, you need people. Luxury goods tax. Um, it's estimated to bring in forty billion. So it says, although it is never a vast source of income, it could be popular with those concerned between concerned with the gap between rich and poor. Um, oh, opponents argue against the graduate tax that it creates a disincentive to study purely academic subjects in the arts and penalizes ambition. Interesting. Um... Yeah, work safety laws. Um, uh, I have to spend my political capital on something. Recycling. It's good for the environment. It's good for everybody. Uh, it's the best thing for me to do. could I consider? Rent controls would be relatively popular. It's anti-capitalist move though. Import tariffs. I guess we're gonna put in place import tariffs, because that's what people want. And it's popular. Um, this does go against real free market economics. Could be seen to other... Yeah, actually, that could spark retaliation. I want to put that as far off as I can. Why is organ donation perceived to be unpopular? Oh, just so it shouldn't be a government function. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to implement arts subsidies. Opera House. You can pick the levels. Theaters, Art Gallery, Opera House. <laughs> um, so that's going to cost $14 billion a quarter. But, I don't know, it seems like a decent-ish sort of thing. I'm going to carry over some political capital, if I may. displeased with current government policy, which is unpopular with their core supporters, socialists and liberals. Um, so I need to appeal more to socialists and liberals. 
Skill shortage has now ended. Tobacco advertisements. To outlaw putting them on TV. Although it remained legal to advertise them on billboards and elsewhere, a TV ban is seen as a preferential way to reduce smoking by citizens. Um, actually, yeah. Because this does... In, it's a huge public health and safety... Well, not safety, but just health concern. Um, yeah, we don't want to have that on TV. Yeah, we either need to grow our GDP, lower our expenses, or increase taxation. Um, so, yeah, how do I grow our GDP? Obviously our GDP is doing better. It's taking a turn in the correct direction. Um, <laughs> fracking. Yeah. S apparently having some minuscule effect on GDP. Um, but more impro importantly, our technology is improving, um, our productivity is improving, people are able to travel using buses and such and get to work better, and you know, GDP is doing very well. Um, so... Has anyone gotten a utopian country in this game? I don't know. Like the guy who did it with SimCity? I don't know if there is a utopia. Ah. So I'm getting suggestions here that I should not do fracking. And I should reduce population. Hmm. Um, I mean, that's a thought. Are you going to go on a genocidal rampage? I know, right? That's, right? That was my thought. What are your criteria for who you select for the purge? Just deport everybody. <laughs> Everybody's now deported. You're now all no longer part of our great You know nation. what, maybe you should just do it by credit score. Be like, you know what, if you don't make the cut, <laughs> get yeah. out. If you can't afford to live here? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So... Huh. The Human Rights Society is now more popular than it used to be. Whatever. Um... So what I heard from my cabinet, um, I'm gaining only 18 capital per turn because my cabinet doesn't like me very much anymore. Um, in particular, Betty here, who's Fire pretty her. much not doing her job. She's quite experienced, though. Um, but, yeah, she wants me to be more of a socialist and a liberal. And so is there a way I can do that without turning the government upside down? Um, I don't know. Are there any people who would be better in her place? I don't think so. Because none of these people have nearly the level of experience as, as she has. So... I was looking at this column, right? Yeah, nobody's experienced as this candidate, so... Yeah, I should um, put some more socialist and liberal policies in place. So law and order is what this person... Um, well, okay. Let me see what policies we can put in place. Actually, are any of our taxing policies falling into these categories? Nope. This will be pro-socialist, anti-capitalist stuff. That 
Yeah, I guess... How do I not have the political capital to do this? That's disappointing. So I guess basically because I've been choosing... Um, since I've been choosing policies based on their efficacy and not based on their popularity, um, I've pissed off my cabinet. That's politics. Yeah. That's, that's the whole essence of politics in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, right there, you captured it beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> yes to genocide. A qualification exam. So, would there be an exam for genocide? Is that what you're saying? I don't think that's what you're saying. Um... All right, an inheritance. T okay, what what does a socialist care about? Corporation taxes. Um. What does a liberal care about? Not having armed police. Or pro community policing. Eh, we're not going to do away with intelligence services, because those are actually effective. Um, prisoner tagging. Why are we doing prisoner tagging? Or why is this unpopular? Right. No, I, I get that. Um, this is a deterrent to crime. I could put in place corporate taxes. This would be a huge anti-capitalist move. Um, it's often one of the main ways that government brings in money. So... I mean, all taxes are going to be unpopular with somebody. If I were to just max this out, that would not be enough to change very much uh, economically. It's an interesting model. Um, apparently, this does have a negative effect on GDP. Um, but only once you really push it way out there. Um, but no. Let's see, what else do socialists care about? Foreign aid, income tax. They're actually pro income tax, and pro capital gains tax. Um,. So yeah, I guess um, it could increase in this from 31% upward. Well, I can't afford to, because I have only 29 political capital. Arrgh. This is not going well. I mean, in some ways it is, but in some ways, if I had to start over, I might do things differently. Such as not on a whim firing one of my cabinet members just because somebody better exists. Um, armed police. Widespread.
definitely deters crime, but are we doing okay crime-wise? And crime is decreasing. Confused. Where is crime on this map? So we got law and order. Police force affects crime and violent crime. A lot of things affect crime. Hey, Mr. Corrupted. Alright, so violent crime. Holy moly. That's. yeah. Wow, look at that link. See, it goes from violent crime to retired? There's a causal link there between violent crime and retirement. Hmm. Or, I'm sorry, retired people. Um, I'm not sure what that association is. When you retire, you want to be able to move somewhere that doesn't have a lot of violent crime. That's what it suggests, but this is, this is a, um, yeah, I'm not sure. That would be my guess. I mean, that sounds like a reasonable interpretation. I think so. <laughs> I don't see anything. Don't have to worry about schools. Uh, yeah, and no, I'm curious. I don't see violent crime over there, but when I mouse over it here, maybe that just means that uh, how much violent crime there is affects uh, the retirement rate. And if, I don't know. Or maybe it just affects my popularity with retired people. That's probably it. It's probably a popularity metric. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. No, so... Yeah, I think what that means is that as violent crime decreases, I become more popular with retired people and just with everyone in general. That's a popularity causality. Um... So we've got community policing, um, oh, which is not popular with liberals. I guess a lot of things in law and order are not popular with liberals. Race Discrimination Act. I've already put this in place, but liberals remain unhappy here. What else could Because I could decrease armed police. Um, I'd really like to cut military spending. Well, I have the ability to do this. Um, so this is costing an overwhelming amount of money. Um, and we don't really need it at all. I know military spending is popular with voters, but um, yeah, I'll be seen as I don't know Benedict Arnold of some sort if I cut it. But um, let's see, I want to stay. Centrist-ish, I guess. A well-trained military, but we don't need it to be at the level that it's at.
Yeah, cutting it beyond some point does nothing to um, make liberals any less unhappy, I guess. Alright, so let's apply this change. Um, and I've got 10 political capital left, which I am going to need for my next turn. Oh yeah, I won the Nobel Prize. Just kidding. It was one of our brightest citizens who won it. Because we have educated people. Okay, so yeah, we're doing a lot better on education and GDP than we used to be doing. Um, and we're actually running a small surplus. Uh, so our income has exceeded expenditure. Yeah. You would not believe how much is spent on the military. So what are our key situations here? Antisocial behavior. Which we've introduced community policing to help address that. Um, and apparently the only positive cause of this antisocial behavior is alcohol consumption. Um, but I could have sworn there were some situations here that we were concerned about. Okay. The not, without enough measures in place. Oh wow. So the environment's just causing pollution willy-nilly. There's... Uh, I need to do something about the environment. Um... Because currently I'm doing nothing. And just... Things in general are causing pollution to increase. What other situations can we worry about? Because that seems difficult. Homelessness. Here's a solvable issue, but what else? Um, alcohol abuse? Yeah, I, I kind of need to put a moratorium on alcohol consumption, because there's no other way I can address the abuse problem. Um, Well, GDP's... Okay, as so GDP increases, people spend more on alcohol. Unemployment increases alcohol consumption. Let me take a look at what are all the various causes. Alcohol law changes this. Um, GDP, poverty, and unemployment. So, really the only thing I can do to decrease alcohol consumption is to put in laws. Um... This is doomed to be unpopular. Uh, so... <laughs> Can reduce the strength of alcohol or put really strong restrictions in place and really tick everybody off. Um, um, liberals are not going to be happy about that. But how else am I going to address um, How can I address the alcohol consumption problem? 
which is feeding into all these problems. I need to do something about this. I need a law. Um, well, I think I have to go with that. It's very unpopular, but it's going to cause things to improve. Um, let's see. Car usage uh, contributes to the asthma em epidemic. Uh, how do I decrease car usage? <laughs> Increasing road building has obviously increased car usage. Uh, Bus usage would do something about car usage. I've already put in place a telecommuting initiative. A car tax won't do anything. Uh, bus usage. Well, it's increased by bus lanes and school buses. Um, I could increase uh, school bus subsidies. It seems like a no-brainer. Got 14 political capital. Would I rather spend it on school buses or something else? Um, Pollution's a huge issue. I've been ignoring it for a very long time. And I have some political capital, so maybe I should do something about this. Without enough measures in place to regulate what gets pumped into the air, we have ended up with high levels of pollution. Um, I guess that's what fracking has done. I don't know what else could have caused that. So, if the environment is... I guess the environment's not doing well is the point. There's just too much going on. Uh, yeah, so how do I improve the environment? Well, one thing they could do is put pollution controls in place, but I already have that. Um, yeah, the environment is not doing well. Um, put this initiative in place, or better fund it. Uh, I'm skeptical that this is actually going to change anything, but maybe it will. But, um, what other environment sorts of things can I do? Clean energy subsidies could be added. Um, it take forever to take effect. Recycling. got exactly enough political capital to make that happen. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems like a common sense measure that would improve the environment. Okay, it's going to take five turns to enact. And I've spent all my political capital. So, unless I'm missing something, there isn't a whole lot I can do at the moment. So, let's go to the next turn. Huh. Achievement unlocked. Filibustering. I have the stamina for politics. I've been working away in my office for so long now. And it's almost time to start the next day's work. I suppose that means that I've been spending all my political capital or something. There we go. See, I knew what I was doing. I knew better than those credit rating agencies that the GDP was going to improve. Mm -hmm. They should have just trusted me. <laughs> they should just like give me an A plus 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 star star plus A rating, because I know what I'm doing, guys. They should just anyway. Um, there's more. Okay, cool. Major international credit rating agencies have increased our rating from BB to BBB. Uh, basically, everybody's happy about that. Um, I always hated credit ratings. Like, why don't they just use a number instead of... Yeah, whatever. I don't know. International... Okay. Rate our governments as BBB. This is a bad sign, and we could still do better. We should have an A credit rating, given that we're such a large country and our economy works. Um, okay, the loyalty of my ministers can be called supportive, and they're generally adequate. Uh, one or more of your ministers is considering their position. Um, oh, I've really ticked off my ministers. Seriously. Let the hate flow through you. Um, so... Yeah, our law and order minister is a socialist and a liberal who is very experienced. Uh, I don't have the political capital at the moment to go about firing my people. Um, like, if I... We're to show these people. They claim to all be loyal, but they have no experience. Um, so yeah, I really want to keep this person. Um, so I need to put in place some more socialist and liberal policies. Oh, I see. The more loyal a person is, the more capital it takes to dispose of them. That's an interesting balance. Um, it makes sense, but... Man, they've really thought about everything in this game. So I need more socialist and more liberal pro things. Um. <laughs> okay... Yeah, creationism versus evolution. Still can't touch that. Man, that that's not going anywhere. Um, now what do liberals... Okay, alcohol law. Or it's not very liberal. Okay, I understand. At the same time, we do have serious problems. Well, look at that. Antisocial behavior has been largely fixed. And alcohol abuse? Still a major problem. 
I think surely my cabinet member can understand that and know that I want to change that. Um, okay, I, I could see that liberals would be unhappy with a great many things that are in place. Armed police. I could raise this, but I don't have the capital to lower it. And there's going to be a delay of three in lowering it anyhow. Um, perhaps I can appeal to socialist things if I cannot... No. What else can I do? Border controls. Biometric checks. Random passport. Passport checks. I could just completely open the borders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, border controls are a reasonable measure, but how far do you want to go? Are passports good enough? It takes 13 political capital to lower this. I don't want to touch that. Biometrics are good technology. Maybe it is overkill to use them for this, but liberals aren't passionate about that anyway. Prisoner tagging seems pretty objectionable. I think everybody agrees on that. So it cost, costs seven, or sorry, four political capital to lower this 14 to outright cancel it. Um, outright canceling it would have some effect on... Yeah, I don't know why you would... If you have this policy, why take the time to outright cancel it? I mean, you'll save a little bit of... I guess, you know, half a billion a quarter or something. It's like, if I lower this, I could lower this... It doesn't actually change the cost very much. None. Low, medium, maximum. Yeah. The prisoner tagging doesn't seem like a very reasonable thing. I could lower this to not implement prisoner tagging, but still leave it on the books um, and still pay for it or whatever. But it makes more sense to just cancel the policy outright. Yeah, it's not a humane policy. Homelessness is a big issue. How shall we address that? Um, an unemployed benefit decreases homelessness. Okay, it costs 14 political capital to raise this, but this would help deal with the homelessness issue. Um, so yeah, I'm going to come back here next turn. Antisocial behavior is now no longer a source of crime. Oh, that's a pity. I think I have failed. Yeah, in my opinion, um, that's a really terrible sign. So, let's see, do we have any options as to how to fill this slot? I think that, I mean, I in the last couple days there, I did try, and I just failed. Um to find somebody suitable for, or to find policies suitable for that person. Um, this is a pity. 
Oh, I see. Desired jobs refers to the positions on the cabinet that they'd want. Um, now I get it. So the, somebody's going to say, oh, I'll take that slot of law and order. Now I see how that works. Um, a religious capitalist. We got another religious capitalist. Well, thank goodness that I was able to find somebody interested in the position, who's experienced in the position, who might be effective at what they're doing. It's a pity to lose somebody on my board like that. I'm really not happy about that. Um, how are we doing in the polls? 61%. So I managed to make... Um, okay, well if the homeless are all moral people, it would cost less money to climb them up the socioeconomic ladder than if they were morally sound. Or if they were less morally sound. Um, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It seems like an interesting argument, but a tricky one to buy. Um, no, unemployed benefits will help deal with the... Um, that issue. To what extent? I don't know. Yeah, I need to do something to cause this to, um, decrease homelessness below the stop trigger. Um, whatever that takes at the moment. So at least as a stopgap measure, I need to deal with this. Unemployed benefit. Okay, so this is currently having no effect, but um, something I need to change. So this would increase homelessness. One second, I appear to have some extra noises in my stream. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to add any extra noises there. So increasing the unemployed benefit would actually increase homelessness. That's what that's saying, I think. Maybe I read that wrong. No, it would... Um, so unemployed benefit... If this moves to the left, homelessness um, is decreased? Yeah, I'm sorry, that's what it reads. So this is a very anti-capitalist measure, but such is useful for just improving our society as a whole. And there goes all our political capital. Currently working as my foreign affairs minister, is displeased with government policy, which is unpopular with trade unionists and farmers. Oh, I might be losing my minister of foreign affairs.
Oh no, there's a new situation. Interesting. Wait, how did this emerge? We decreased... Well, of course we decreased military spending. But we forgot to correspondingly increase intelligence services. Yeah, so I need to max that out, I guess. Holy moly. Global economy is completely tanked. Our relative GDP is not doing so hot. But we're doing every better than everybody else, I guess. I don't know. Our interest rate's okay. Our debt is declining. Um, that's quite the graph. Yeah, what does a trade unionist care about? I mean, obviously I've ticked off trade unionists. Um, labor laws are very pro-employer. And I guess I would change it if I could. Um, not in a position to really change that. Because that would take too much political capital to change. Um, could add in maternity leave. That has negligible benefit, or I could wait one more turn, and then next turn change the labor laws to some other balance. Um, let's try that strategy. We've achieved a crime-free utopia. Excellent. What's this game called? Democracy Free. So, yeah. Soft fun crime. How to you beat Democracy 3 with a perfect score? <laughs> Yeah, he put an advisory that says they updated this game, so now it's way easier and just about pointless. Nice. Also, there are various difficulty levels. Yeah, I do have to give I do have to give a lot of credit to the game designers for forcing me to take um, stances that um, weren't just for a single party. All right. Oh, do we have a new situation there? No, I fixed homelessness.
having fixed homelessness and I fixed crime, I can possibly reduce my crime policies. Um, Oh, I see. Yeah, it's an interesting way to spin it. So what are your all thoughts on um, software patents? Before I express my own, let's hear what everybody has to say. If anyone has anything to say. Thoughts, anyone? <laughs> oh, okay. I understand that most people will not have opinions as informed as my own on this subject. Okay, so that's a fair point. Like, if somebody creates something, they should get credit for what they've created. Initially, that sounds like a pretty plausible pro um, plausible platform here. Um, however, this isn't talking about like arts, and this isn't talking about videos. Um, it really isn't talking very much about concepts. Well, it's only talking about concepts as applies to algorithms, just to um, sets of steps that can be done in sequence. Um, so if I wrote... <laughs> oh, um, how do I want to broach this subject? I guess I want to address it as a hypothetical. Um, so if I designed a piece of software that um, transmits an image from a moving vehicle to an operating building, um, rather to just from a moving vehicle or a vehicle that's stopped for that matter and transmits it however wirelessly wired whatever between um, my vehicle that's got some kind of computer or software in it and some downstream facility um, and I want to put a patent on that idea of being able to um, transmit data from a vehicle um, to a building technically that would be something coverable by software patents um, another thing that would be coverable um, 
or at least patentable, I don't know coverable is the right word, but patentable, is uh, one-click shopping. You see what you want, put it in your cart, and do, I'm sorry, do shopping without an online cart. And there are some websites that do this, but they all pay royalties, I think, to the owner of the patent, who I believe is Amazon. Yeah. So, it, patenting software is kind of tricky, because, I mean, what exactly is patentable and what's not? Yeah, and really, that is the whole pat uh, purpose of patents and copyrights and all that. It's to advance the arts and the sciences. Um, so, yeah, these patents would only be applicable if they actually in some way advance arts and sciences by allowing them a limited monopoly. Not on ideas, not on language, not on expression, but just on innovation in some sense. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't think of any way you could write that into law that would actually make sense. Because um, I think almost every piece of software in some way qualifies as an idea. Um, now the content that the software delivers, like the logos, the images, the text, um, even some protocols of how it communicates with, I don't know. But I, I think it's really difficult to define a software patent in any, um, I don't know, in any way that actually promotes arts and sciences. It's just difficult to do. Now, having these patents in place means that, like, it's possible for Xboxes and Nintendos and so forth to be able to host online games and make it illegal for you to break into the box and do whatever you want with it. And I guess to some small extent that's a good thing. Um, that, um, uh, that some laws protect um, game stores and things like that so you don't have to actually show up at a physical store and acquire a CD or DVD to play a game anymore. You can now download things online. Um, and that's because the laws protect um, the people who develop the software. So you, you can't just make a knockoff of a game um, and steal it essentially. Um, but it becomes really litigious um, too because it's difficult to tell what's an original idea versus what's um, I don't know how you say that but um, so yeah generally these are popular with big business um, because it does help big businesses sell things. Uh, but it's really easy to write software laws that 
um, protect more than what needs to be protected. Yeah. Right. Also, I think that the marginal benefit of actually having these patents, uh, that marginal benefit is greatest for things like online software sales where the patents protect against illegal copying and distribution of files. Um, and really it's the distribution part that's the big challenge. Um, so by making... Um, by protecting software in that regard, it makes sense because um, that, again, that allows you to um, obtain content without always have to be having to be online to play it, or use it, or see it, or whatever. So yeah, to some extent, patents help keep a open and fair market. Um, for things like books and games and videos and other content that um, you can download and use offline, but it's still illegal to copy and redistribute to everybody else. Um, I think that's the big advantage of software patents. Then in every other regard, there really isn't much value in them. Um, so, though, sure, yeah, sure, in the digital economy, we must enact laws to encourage initial investment, yada yada. Uh, this is something that should be thrown to a committee and to a subcommittee and really thrown around a lot more and should not be decided by one person sitting at the president's desk. This is something that involves all of society and it's not fair for... Um, one person to make this kind of decision. So I'm going to pick reject here. Yeah, he must be some kind of philanthropist. Yeah. He's a good guy. Oh, I see. So these are people... I don't know if these are threats or what. But down here, I'm assuming these groups in red are more threats. Um, Ah, so because GDP is down, so too is your income. Now what was I about to change last turn before I got interrupted? Hmm. I was about to change labor laws. I think that still is probably a high priority of my administration here.
Is there any reason I wouldn't want to max this out? So I'd definitely be considered a socialist after this move. But I'm not seeing any issue with it. I did not know that about Franklin. Hmm. I'll have to learn more about it. Okay, I blew my political capital to try to keep my cabinet together. Hopefully my cabinet member won't quit on me after that move. Really, I just need to be a centrist to not tick off everybody. So I just blew all my political capital that turn to try to satisfy my one member. Um, my public services manager has resigned. Okay, I need somebody who's competent. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Um, how can you be an interest of both capitalists and you? That That's an interesting combination right there. So I need somebody for my public services position. Um, do I have anybody on the board who would prefer that position to what they have? Transport is something they are interested in. Law and order is interested. <gasps> tax. He's doing tax. Um, it's not something he's interested in. But what he wants to do isn't open. Um, he'd prefer to do welfare transport or law and order. I don't... Oh, okay, I do have transport and law and order covered. Is welfare covered? Okay. So I've got to shuffle this to move my tax guy into the welfare slot. My welfare person into public services. Uh, that did not do what I thought it would do. Public services. Who's going to be my transport minister?
Man, this is tricky to reassign. I'm just going to take some guesses here. Law and Order Minister. Public Services Minister. I'm taking Julie Cooper for this. for foreign policy and law and order. Welfare. Economy, transport, and law and order. I guess say hi to your new economy, transport, Law and order expert. Welfare and tax are able to open. going to be my tax expert. I guess this is the guy I'm picking. Okay. Oh, we have a high productivity economy. Very good. I hoped that this would happen, and it did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty terrible. Um... So, we've got three political capital and the economy is in complete shambles. Um, does anybody have ideas as to how I fix this? I guess I have to just carry over the three political capital and wait for things to improve. Um, let's give this a try. Cyber warfare has ended. We have an immigration scandal. Whew. Opponents of immigration. Our outrage, the government has been unable to control the borders. 
Yeah. So those are side effects. Uh, unemployment is pretty high. Um, GDP is somehow causing unemployment. Okay, but is that a bad thing? Well, I just have to deal with what goes with unemployment, I suppose. That's weird. Supportive, and... Okay, well, we hear the Human Rights Society on the radio. No, seriously, the economy is completely upside down. I need to do something. Um, I did slash military spending. Um, and that did help, but what do I do now? Debt's on the rise. Yeah, I need to... Um, let's see. Income tax would make me unpopular with lots of people. Corporate tax would make me unpopular with socialists and capitalists. What are my options? Capital gains tax. Again, that's not going to really raise revenue. So I could bring in 400 billion a quarter if I increase that. Whereas if I increase uh, income tax, oh, well that's not happening. Um, property tax also would tick off a lot of people. really not raise any money at all. So yeah, my only option is to go for a corporation tax to try to make this all solvent. Um, so we're going pro-socialist now. But it's going to balance our economy. Trade unionists and farmers. Well, I've got to do something to satisfy the desires of the person on my board or decide that I don't want them. But they're pretty experienced. I'm now understanding why it's important to have the right people on your cabinet or your board. Um, so I've been largely ignoring trade unionists and farmers. Unemployment is seriously hurting them, and everybody. There's not a whole lot I can do to directly fix that. Um, so I'm going to need to do something silly. Um, like adding a new policy that's pro-farmers.
would be easier than um, you get the idea. Agriculture subsidies. For strategic reasons, some governments are happy to pay subsidies to farmers to ensure the security of the food supply. It goes against free market economics and can be very expensive, but in agricultural communities it does safeguard jobs and votes. Um, Organic farming. It might be a good thing to do, though. Um, so, yeah, I think... <laughs> I think organic farming is going to be something that I do. It's going to be expensive. 18 billion. But it should be popular with people. Foreign Affairs Minister resigns. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay. A law and order minister uh, is not happy. That's too bad. Um, I guess, uh, what does this person want? He's a capitalist. Man, this game, this game is cruel. Um, we gotta hire somebody, right? Prefer to hire somebody experienced. And somebody interested in the position of foreign policy. I guess I'm getting Arthur Anderson, because he's interested in foreign policy. Yeah. I need to do something to appease this dude. Or just choose that he's gonna go, but... Let's see, capitalist ethnic minorities are parties that need to be served here. Um, I know capitalist is listed here. Oh, here's ethnic minorities. Tension is caused by all kinds of factors. Um, he's still not happy. These people are never happy. Um, well, well, well. This is what took Rome apart, but I need to do it. Passport checks.
I've managed to preside over an unparalleled period of high educational achievement and turn this into the world's intelligentsia. Hooray! Are you kidding me? Global economy is at zero. Um, our debt is decreasing. Our income has greatly exceeded expenditures. Our relative GDP is doing pretty awesome. Uh, uh, what else was new? Polls are incredibly optimistic. Let's check on our cabinet and see who's pissed at me now. Our law and order minister still wants me to do more about capitalism and ethnic minorities. Although what more can I do? I need to do something about this tension, I suppose. Well, isn't that weird? Yeah, this game rightly points this out. That the Race Discrimination Act has this effect here. So, while ethnic minorities are protected and pretty happy about it, um, taking too much of anything can be a, um, not a good thing. Citizenship tests? Are you kidding me? Yes, if I were to even get rid of the citizenship test altogether, um, that would do nothing to cease racial tension. Um, immigration itself is causing racial, racial tension. Immigration scandal. Oh, well, that event. Um, I mean, that's gonna happen. The events do happen. Wait. Value over time. So I guess tension goes up it would be a problem. The Discrimination Act... Okay, it actually decreases tension. I misinterpreted that. Um, yeah, having open borders is severely increasing immigration, which in turn is causing tension. So, what else can I consider? I mean, this tension's unavoidable as long as immigration occurs. Um, so, we got our minister here. Um, where's my minister? So, it's either I do something pro-capitalist or pro-that, so... Corporation tax was needed to stabilize our economy, but my law and order minister doesn't like it one bit. Uh... 
Um, Yeah, I think I do need to decrease this and say goodbye to our economy, but, um... Peg this around here somewhere. 25%. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll be losing a lot of revenue, but uh, GDP will also increase. At least that's the theory. Um, now I've got seven political capital to spend. What new programs might be worth instituting? Work safety laws. Probably not a bad idea. Are there any other policies worth instituting? Ah, clean energy subsidies. Yeah, let's implement that. Something I should have kicked in on day one, but I was trying to go with a pure Republican platform, and it just doesn't work. This game doesn't allow you to do that. Alright, let's do the election. So, because I am... I'm playing in the conservative party, or the Republican party, and I'm embracing all this socialism. Um, I handily defeat the opposition, who's the Democratic party, um, because they are pretty much offering the same thing I'm already doing, and I'm demonstrating that I can actually get it done. So, yeah. Oh, that's good. Somehow I managed to win over the electorate to my political views. Corporate exodus. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's not a surprise. Lost my law and order minister. Um, he's going to be hard to keep. Here's a fellow who's got no experience. Who else would I be able to take? Um, I 
Well, we're going to take Robert Powell. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, but is this really such a big deal? I mean, it has a negative effect on GDP. But it's caused by things that are uh, pretty hard to do without. I guess the corporation tax is a bit much. Um, Let's take a look. Um, oh, corporate exodus. Yep, yep, yep. So if I promise them, then I'll cut things down. Well, how much am I cutting? Oh. So I can't cancel the policy. It's too expensive to cancel. Um, So, I could do this at 150 billion per quarter, or I could just cut this all the way down. Let me lock it at like 5%. 50 billion per quarter. It's not a very pro-socialist policy. Um, what does this do to GDP? Oh, the fact that there's this policy at all negatively impacts GDP. Interesting. Let's see. How close can I get this to exactly 100? Um, yeah, but to deal with the corporate exodus, I just have to cut this out altogether. Yeah, so a lot of these situations are suffering. I've become a very anti-capitalist state here. Um, and I haven't been able to afford uh, changing the alcohol consumption um, policies. just haven't been able to gain enough capital to change this policy. I just don't have the will to do it. I want to, but... Um, for the time being, we're in prohibition, folks. Okay, and our govern our environment is failing because well environmental policies are just taking a long time to take effect. Let's see. Ha! Credit rating has been downgraded again because all the corporations left the country. Unemployment is very super ultra high. Um, on the other hand, I'm popular. So I have shifted into being a populist. Um,
So, where was that policy I was trying to find? The corporate tax that was... Um, was there not a corporate tax? Okay, if I highlight GDP, wherever GDP went. Corporation tax. Here it is. This negatively impacts GDP. I still don't have the political prowess to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I've got so many anti-capitalist measures in place, including the corporate exodus. So, let's deal with that. Um, yeah, I just need to get rid of the corporation tax, although I can't do that. Um, so where's my where's my policy about um, alcohol? Alcohol consumption is affected by policy alcohol law. am able to re reduce this. So now we're out of prohibition. Uh, the environment's still not doing so hot. None of those taxes are really going to work. You could reinstitute prisoner tagging. Hey, Danda. Um. Try advancing and see. Oh, good. Pollution is now under control. Kaboom! Drug addiction has developed. Um. Really? Just when I declared that prohibition is over, drug addiction develops. Just can't win. Just cannot win. I guess unemployment is high, and that's a major contributor. Um, yeah, to um, kind of deal with this uh, corporate tax. Where'd it go? Corporation tax. This is killing GDP. I have to cancel this policy. Um. Yeah. No, I think uh, I'm kind of doomed. This corporate exodus has... Um, at the expense of protecting our citizens, it's caused all the corporations to leave. Which actually isn't possible, but that's what happened. So corporation tax is now gone. Um, could repeal all the labor laws. I'm sure people will be happy about that. Um, Yeah, I can't... I mean, yeah, labor laws are pretty contentious. I can't change them at this point. Um, drug addiction. 
Alright, so drug addiction is affected by many things. Oh, state health service. My goodness, why is this not funded? Um, Alright, next turn. Oh yeah! We're losing money all over the place. Uh, GDP is starting to recover. Um, but I'm still popular. Yeah, as soon as GDP crosses, or this exodus stops, um, things will be better off. But I, I think uh, we're kind of in a period of turmoil at the moment. Um, some prevention, excellent health care. Um, sure, let's put that in there. Oh, private health care. Uh, right. Uh, this has positive effects on health. Health is positively affected by private health care and whatever. Um, I thought we were just looking at state health service. Yeah. Though many citizens would be happy to privately pay for their own health treatment, there is an argument the state has a moral duty and so forth. Yeah, where do you draw the line? Probably somewhere in the middle, so 228. Uh, draw the line somewhere around here-ish. I don't know. go. Let's apply that change. Ah. Yeah. So yeah, this is democracy. The point is to not ruin the economy and not, like, destroy everything. Um, science funding. Why don't I fund science as much as possible? I guess it positively impacts GDP. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. Uh, what else? Art subsidies. We already got our opera house. Uh, what else could I put in place. Let's see, there's some anti-capitalist policies that are in place. <laughs> uh, what does a capitalist want? Pretty much everything that nobody else wants. So, let me try advancing to the next turn. A debt crisis. Oh yeah, our debt is a huge problem. Yeah. No surprise there. There's nothing I've yet been able to do about it. Freedom of information. To increase the availability of information. calls for a law to increase the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. Uh, 
Let me parse that. There has been a call, there have been calls for a law to increase the availability of information held on databases about citizens without their knowledge. This includes the records held by private medical companies and so forth. Um, The government isn't out to spy on everybody. Passing this will just make it hard for the intelligence services to keep a watch. Yeah, I, that's what I do believe. But you don't need... Um, don't need things to um, be so complicated. Um, let's see. Wait, what happened to our previous situation here? Corporate Exodus. Corporate exodus is on its way down, and we are in a debt crisis. Um, <laughs> debt crisis has now made me unpopular. That's okay. That's why elections only happen every so many years anyway. Seriously, now that's why. Um... Clean energy subsidies. I don't know if these are yet implemented. Uh, middle income people are not happy. Well, especially about the debt crisis. Um, but I need to deal with this first. To deal with the corporate exodus in turn which deals with the GDP and then I can handle the debt crisis. These are all derivatives of each other. It's fun seeing what the game does, but watching the world burn possibly isn't a good thing. Um, okay, so I got 26 political capital that I can spend on various things. Um, Drug addiction is a big problem. Um, it's driven by narcotics and state health service. Um, so I just increased the state health service, did I not? Oh, it does have a ridiculous implementation delay. So I'm not actually going to see that take effect. Outlawing narcotics has caused a... No. How do I read this? Drug addiction. How can there be a drug addiction if narcotics are illegalized? Um, state health service is going to take forever to get in place. Private health care is not something I'm able to... Okay, I see, I see. Um, so I need to up my police force. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So this is going to help deal with the narcotics problem. Mm, this is going to make a lot of people unhappy. But since there are so many people unemployed, it's necessary to ramp up our police force. Yeah, this period of unrest. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm not going to put it to maximum. I'm just going to increase our police force presence to high. And I've got 22 political capital remaining. Um...
what was it? It's um, racial tension is caused by a wide variety of complicated factors. Um, One of the things that, well, yeah, I'm going to be idealistic here and not compromise on decreasing immigration. Um, the inheritance tax. I see how this um, was implemented now. Inheritance tax is caused to try to appease people. Yeah. This is a pro-socialist policy. Um, doesn't actually take in any more or less money if you increase this. That's actually not a popular policy. It doesn't take in much money either. It's a pro equality policy, but that's about all you can say about it. Um, what's equality good for here? We don't necessarily need equality. So I cancel that because we don't need it. And I um, have to address this one. Okay, got alcohol abuse, miracle operation. Wow. That's excellent. Um, alcohol abuse is now back in play. Um, uh, that's too bad. A little bit of foresight would have prevented this. Well, that's not good. So... Yeah. My character has become a populist. I've said this before. Um, so I'm being forced to make some difficult decisions. This is something I saved in my back pocket in case I needed it. Um, I'm gonna do this. Uh, unless I have something better I can do with my capital. So I have to put in place an alcohol law. Prohibition goes back into effect. Sucks that I have to do that. Um, no machine guns. Oh wow, changing this costs a lot. I 
Wow, 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 that's that's difficult to implement. Um So Yeah, car usage is still high. Oh. That's interesting. So canceling the federal highway things will decrease car usage, I guess. Um, building roads does decrease congestion, but should this be a function of the federal government? I guess if it helps everybody, sure. Um, okay, our corporate exodus is almost over. The debt crisis is still in full swing. Our homelessness problem is still pretty out there. Um, dude, I've almost got this fixed. Um, so... Hybrid Cars Initiative. I guess I have to fund this a little bit more. So we're talking about the difference between a billion a quarter and three billion a quarter. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, what else? What else is up for discussion? Punitive tax rate on unhealthy food. And that really goes against what I would suggest, so... Oh, I'm just pretty anti-tax in general. Um, welfare fraud, rent controls. There are things which make sense, and then there are things which don't make sense. I don't... wait. Yeah, I do have um, homelessness problems. Uh, so to that end, rent controls might help with that. Seriously anti-capitalist. Ban same-sex marriage. Until recently this hasn't been an issue apparently. Um, yeah, it's not how that has worked in decades and centuries and millennia in the past. Um, security briefing, the Freedom League. 
is gaining a membership. Oh, are you serious? Uh, well, I have to change this. Apparently, a hardcore offshoot of the Human Rights Society might be taking over, taking their liberal agenda a bit too far. Yep. Some of these extremists have guns. Uh, they might be serious. Asthma epidemic has ended. Interesting. As our corporate exodus ended, okay, so we have a debt crisis on our hands, and still the corporate exodus. Uh, that's not good. That's seriously not good. Find new particles and such. Nice. Okay, well, our relative GDP is increasing, our debt is pretty high. I'm starting to see how debt could be unstoppable. Um, Alcohol abuse is still high, as alcohol consumption is pretty high. Uh, what else? What are we looking at? And yeah, unemployment is so high due to everything. Everything under the sun is contributing to unemployment. Most importantly, GDP, which sucks because the corporations all left. 
Because apparently corporations can just get up and leave. I was calling the game's bluff, and it showed me it wasn't bluffing. Okay, so, yeah, the debt crisis causes the GDP to suck, and the GDP is failing because of the debt crisis. Um, go figure, right? Paid the entire GDP with gas taxes. How does that sound to everybody? Um, yep, so to balance our books. Wait, how much are we down? We're down debt wise. We need to make up a spread of 900 billion. Nine hundred billion. So change this to say like one point six billion per quarter. If that's going to be unpopular. I don't have the political capital to do that. <laughs> I could cancel the income tax. Oh, wouldn't that be fantastic? Just cancel all the taxes. That would be entertaining. At this point, I I think I'm doomed. Um, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that I'm doomed. Um, so it could be entertaining to just see what happens if I do various things. Um, income. Government borrowing. Income tax, sales tax. Yeah. Uh, where's income tax? Oh, there's the income tax. There's sales tax. And of course, increasing this is going to completely ding the... Yeah, I don't have the political capital to do that anyway. Here. So, now I'm stuck doing things because they're popular, not because they're good for the economy. That's awesome. It's too late for me to institute state housing. Um, Consumer rights. 
That sounds pretty obvious. I see, I see. Ah, the Freedom League. How fantastic. Okay, so... Corporate Exodus shall end momentarily. Um, it's related to labor laws, which I had to change. Oh, I've got the political capital to change this back. Aha! Another failed assassination attempt. I'm just that good. Corporate Exodus has now ended. And thanks to that, I can now start to focus on um, other things such as our debt crisis. And that's just caused by debt being abnormally high. So I need to um, increase our income. <laughs> Everybody's going to be thrilled about that one. But that a 90% in income tax should help with Oh, hang on, I don't have the capital to do that. Um, so never mind, we'll stay put on that one. Alcohol abuse is going down again. Uh, unemployment is still... It's on the decline. Um... This debt crisis is because our numbers don't match up, but there's nothing I can do until I have the political capital to change that. And obtaining said capital is kind of expensive. Homelessness. Um, we do have this thing called an unemployed benefit, which is trying to curtail homelessness, but not really working. Um, it's a federal property taxes just don't seem like a good idea. What else are we looking at? This is the debt crisis. I mean, I think it pretty much solved everything. A 
Animal subsidies, prisoner tagging, police drones. Free school meals. Organ donation. Estimated popularity of 0%. Healthcare vouchers. Really high estimated cost. Oh, I know why I struggle with everything in this category. This category is called welfare. And I tend to be a little bit on the skeptical side of these kind of policies. So is there a single thing I can implement here? Um, changing technology grants isn't going to significantly change anything. Um, Prisons. And I think there was something about private prisons here. Jury trial. It's amazing that the right to jury is even something shown here as an option. Um, Huh. Yeah, that's a difficult thing to touch. Narcotics are outlawed. Um, even that hasn't stopped drug addiction. I have to do something about drug addiction here.
Well, I hesitated to max this out, but I need to. Another failed assassination attempt. It's possible that as a president I might not be very popular. Either that or these assassination attempts are a strange way of trying to thank me for my service. Um, but no. So the debt crisis is feeding into all these things. Um, the only way I can really fix that is by raising taxes, uh, which I shall do. There we go. That should do something about our debt crisis. <laughs> Religious people and capitalists. Yeah, you might not be on my board much longer as my transport minister. I'm sorry, but um, I did what has to be done for um, for our debt situation. Yeah, just about everything I've done is against what this person wanted. Um, religious capitalist. So, I've got to somehow appeal to this person's religion. Oh, man. Man, that's amazing. So I've got to touch something incredibly touchy just to try to keep my, uh, my board together. Wow. All right, and the only other religious thing is this creationism versus evolution. Ay, ay, ay. How do I appeal to religious people? might be losing my most qualified person on my board. Um, that's amazing. So it's going to require 36. I mean, this is pretty much the only religion thing that I could institute that won't screw over everybody. Brain drain. Our tax system is encouraging best and brightest to leave the country. Yeah, notably the income tax. It had to be done. Police chiefs are requesting that they're allowed to build up a global database of DNA to assist them in crime fighting. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna deny the police access to a global um, DNA database. I understand, yeah, that that may be at odds. Um, it's it's going to take a long time for um, for such things to. What am I trying to say? Uh, well, let me check how with my board. Is this person really that dedicated to leaving? They might stick around if I do something. Um, what can I do? What was that thing I was just looking at? Banning Sunday shopping. Requires 36 political capital. I have 34. That's kind of draconian anyhow. Religious schools. Yeah, it's possible. Um, yeah, this is a challenge for the U.S. This is definitely a challenge for the U.S. Plus, if I don't deal with this um, religious situation, um, well, let's just say there will be larger problems to worry about. Okay, so the debt crisis is still a problem, and will be until some of these numbers balance out. Um, our debt is going down, I will point out. But they're talking about a debt crisis, not a deficit crisis. Hopefully this gets under control soon. Yeah, hopefully this gets under control soon. I've maxed out the police force. Um, yep, yep, yep. This income tax is definitely contributing to the brain drain situation. Um, what policies would I like to put in place that I haven't done yet? Car emission limits. Yeah. Clean fuel subsidies. See, I see that as something constructive, but... CCTV cameras. Uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, that is a huge problem. Never mind. <laughs> What would I like to implement that I just haven't been able to? Yeah, that's gonna be... Yeah, that's something you don't want to do. Um, free school meals? It's guaranteed to be popular with everybody. Yeah. People just need to get along, you know? Um. I'm 
internet tax. Look at all the billions that it'll bring in. And by billions, I mean like nothing. Well, this is actually good policy here. But because I have other things on my mind, I don't want to institute that just yet. This is all taxes, this is the economy. All these things are pretty expensive to put in place. Encourages foreign investment. Um, I guess I'll put this in place. minds and bodies. Yeah, I understand that this person is most dissatisfied, dissatisfied um, because I haven't pandered to their religious people. Um, yeah, with wide open borders, of course, there's immigration scandals. economy is doing well, it's helping our GDP, and our debt crisis is getting managed. Um, oh, I have a maximum of 34. So that means that I just basically cannot um, implement these new policies. So the person who could help me do this isn't giving me the political capital to do it. That costs 50. Um, this here costs 36. Okay, what else could I do to try to appeal to this person on my board so I don't lose them? Well, they're a capitalist. Yeah, I have to deal with the debt crisis, and I'm working on it. I really am. What's this brain drain affecting? Ah, I see, I see. So, what's our debt level at? It's at this, whatever this is. Well, that's declining by a constant amount per turn. Um, do I just need more? I've already maxed out community policing to try to deal with this alcohol problem. Um, and I think I've maxed out my police force as well. So I just really need to deal with the root causes of these problems, which are just consumption and poverty. And I thought there were policies against alcohol consumption. Yeah, I have the strongest possible 
rules against alcohol consumption, and people are still drinking it. Um, yeah, so I just have systemic problems. Oh, state schools. Yeah, I guess these help enable people to do well in life. And it costs like nothing to increase this. And this might actually help the world, so... Wait, what? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, what else can I try? Got 16 polit political capital. Um, well, let's just advance to the next round. Ban animal testing. To ban all animal experimentation. That's amazing. Why would you let the president make such a decision? Hasn't Congress, like, voted on a bill before asking the president what's to be done? Um. Yeah, you have two arguments that are completely at ends, at odds and ends with each other. Um, it's not for a president to decide that sort of matter. Okay. So apparently we still have a debt crisis. Oh, hey look! Debt crisis is slowly working its way back down. Okay, handgun laws. Here goes the Second Amendment, guys, right? <laughs> That's all it affects? That's weird. License and minimum age. Oh, I don't have the capital to change that. Um, what else can I do? Yeah, gambling's not good. Um, a lot of these things aren't healthy for our economy. Racial profiling. Tasers. These drones. Detention without trial. Speed cameras. Five point nine eight billion per quarter. Uh, 
All right. Um, what other policies? Public services. You know, let's just put all these public services in place. Well, I bet I'm going to lose the election. Oh boy, have I lost it. There was an election? <laughs> Retire to obscurity. Alright. I missed the message at the end. That's okay. Um... Let me try, just see how quickly I can lose the game. Can I lose the game quickly? Okay, let's check. Um, what are our sources of income? Income tax, sales tax, and corporation tax. Okay, I'm going mad with power. Oh, I can't, as my first act, cancel the income tax. I really wanted to do that. I also cannot, as my first act, cancel the sales tax. Eh, we'll just do nothing the first week. Alright, we got 52 political capital. Income tax. You're gone. Bye. Um, let's see. What else can I do to try to become more popular? Property tax. Uh, that doesn't gain anything either. Alright, sales tax. Can I cancel that? Yeah! Let's cancel sales tax. Alright. Um, what are our other sources of income? Government borrowing. Corporation tax. I should just, like, run an anarchy party. Seriously. Alright. Next. Property tax. Um, sure, we'll cancel it. Um, capital gains tax. Who needs it? I'm surprised I don't get impeached for doing this. You keep losing your credit ratings. Seems Dude. like every time I come back into this room... Well, I check it out. I, I started up the new game here. Oh. And I'm systematically canceling all the taxes one by one. You're going all Ron Swanson? I'm going... Like I'm going pro-anarchy. That's an interesting campaign platform. Yeah. You are making yourself obsolete. I know, right? That's totally Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. Yeah. Oh, he's like super anti-government. Uh, so I need five more political capital to cancel the corporation tax. Economic forecast. Point you in, Ambassador. Um, at some point, somebody really combative. Alright, now I'll cancel the corporation tax. And... What else can I cancel? Well, let's see, what's our next... Other than government borrowing? Petrol, 
car, tobacco, and inheritance tax. All right. I see if you miss him like he missed him. Oh. Which is fine. Oh no! Our credit rating's being downgraded. Um. Who needs taxes? Alright. Inheritance tax. Man, some of these are really hard to cancel. Alright, let's just keep going. Got a debt crisis. Our law and order minister um, thinks I'm not really supporting socialists and liberals. Interesting. Okay. Um, so we got a car tax, a tobacco tax, and an inheritance tax. Well, we don't need that. We're going to get to the point where anybody, nobody else will want to run for this government. Um, huh. Just scrap as many policies as possible. Quarterly report. Next. Socialist plot. The Revolutionary Army. Ooh. Curb banking bonuses. Nope. Okay. Um. Alright. And I need one more political capital to cancel the hybrid car initiative. Okay. Um, today, the evil capitalist lapdog in charge of this country was heroically assassinated by a crack team of comrades from the Revolutionary Army. Our brave soldiers attacked the very heart of the capitalist machine by opening fire in the middle of a speech to the banking community. A number of evil fascists were killed, as well as the so-called president. Sadly, all the comrades involved in this heroic battle have been killed by government forces. This was a victory for the common man, and game over for you. Oh, that was hilarious. Well, that was all in good fun. Apparently that's what happens when you decide to cancel the government. Um, so anarchy is not something that even anarchists want. Who knew, right? Alright. Well, that was a fun game. Uh, I think I'll take a brief break and then come back with a different game. Uh, so, thanks for stopping by.